is disturbing. Just released surveillance footage from 2016 showing what appears to be Diddy violently assaulting then-girlfriend Cassie. In the video obtained by CNN, Diddy, seen in a towel, strikes Cassie and after dropping to the ground, she is kicked twice from behind. Diddy then attempts to drag her away from the elevator bank. Later in the footage, it appears Diddy shoves Cassie in the corner, then throws an object in her direction. So far, he has not commented, and in a statement to ET, Cassie's attorney says, quote, the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior. So yeah. if you if you die to see what actually happened, you, um, it's easy to find. So you could go look that up. But what do y'all think, man? Uh, Diddy has been a part of our lives for a long, long time, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I saw this day coming, but it's here. He is he is officially done. You know, it, it, it's it's funny you say a part of our lives for a very long time because um, Diddy started off as an intern, as did I. You know, working at, at a uh, he was working at a regular label, but I was working at a radio station. And that was part of my inspiration. You know, that was part of my inspiration. Like, if you could start off as an intern, walking through a door where nobody knows you and you're just trying to figure something out, trying to figure out how this is going to work for you, um, the inspiration is, you know, you can rise to the top, right? Um, I no longer feel that way. I no longer feel that way. I don't see him as that anymore. I, uh, I see it as, um, you know, just awful. I mean, awful. And I've always asked this question because it seems like it happens way too often. Why does it take us so long to cancel people mm. when we know what they're about? We've heard the, I mean, allegations are one thing, but when you have multiple reports of it and you also kind of just like can see the writing on the wall for Diddy for the last couple of years, why do we take so long? Why does it have to be this type of footage to cancel? Honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I had heard a lot about the freaky <laughs> stuff with Diddy, but I didn't hear a lot about the abuse with Diddy. Mm -hmm. I, I heard a lot about I, it. I mean, the, I didn't uh, hear that before. The trafficking part, I did hear about. Yeah, I heard about that part, but it also just it, it blows my mind to think that they could get to the point where you know um, Cassie settles. I mean, he castle he settles with Cassie just twenty four hours after she. Yeah, he knew. What you was know, up. he knew it was coming, and so um, and then even also you look at the date of this video, two thousand sixteen. It's been suppressed for a very long time. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's just like. All parties involved, you know, it's it's awful, you know, to, to drop something so late after, you know, statute of limitations has, has exceeded. Um, and it's just, to me, it's awful that we go through hip-hop and, and this is the ugly side of hip-hop. It makes me really curious about Kim Porter, man. Mm -hmm. that, it makes also, me really <laughs> curious about that. I was also yeah. thinking, that's the only one we saw on footage. There's no telling what kind of stuff yeah. was going on behind the scenes that wasn't able yeah. to be captured. Because mm -hmm. that don't look like that was his first time with that kind of behavior. Of course not. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So... Just imagine what that young lady had to go through repeatedly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad she finally got her justice. I'm pretty sure she got a pretty good bag, but mm -hmm. still the, the psychological, you know what I'm saying, the mm -hmm. mental, the trauma that comes along with that for any woman who suffers domestic abuse, like the money probably not even worth it, I'm sure, yeah. you know. And then now just having everybody just discover this and really having to relive those moments over again, my heart just goes out to it, man, because yeah. that was just disgusting, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, you know, in, in the long run, you're going to have so many other people that's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Some other other situations that's going to come out. The situation with Kim Porter, though, just think about it. She was getting ready to write a book, mm -hmm. and it's getting ready to come out. So just imagine what stories she knew about, what she, yeah. what she went through herself, yeah. and just imagine like how what happened in the background. Did he have something to do with that? Mm -hmm. Cassie yeah. said Kim Porter had a burner phone with a yes. lot of incriminated yeah. evidence yeah. on yeah. Diddy. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, he was trying to get that phone and keep yeah. her from sharing the, the information mm -hmm. on the phone. So mm -hmm. it make you wonder for sure. Yeah. Yeah. There's some foul playing ball. I'll be yeah. sure been, has been hitting too yeah. as well that he got yeah. some stuff mm -hmm. that needs to come out. Mm -hmm. um, I, listen, I, I, I think for me, I'm grateful that we finally have footage because mm -hmm. before this, it's just all allegations right. yeah. and you know how that goes. But yes, this needs to be exposed. Mm -hmm. I hope all the tapes come out that need to come out yeah. because this is something we need to address. Yeah. And uh, shouts out to the believers. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I really struggle sometimes with believers mm -hmm. who continue to support a lot of these athletes, artists, entertainers, whoever they are. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, it just don't lie up with our spiritual walk so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I want to say real quick you know shout out to her and anybody else who's going through anything mm -hmm. not just with Diddy or you yeah. know, R. Kelly or any anybody else any of us who've done something because you know mm -hmm. sometimes we make mistakes and we you know in our past lives or whatever you know because mm -hmm. all of us are, haven't been saved forever right you know so we right. make some mistakes or whatever but you know if you if you repent and you move forward and you ask for forgiveness one, that's one thing but in these situations or what these guys are going through doing right now 
man, there's no limit to what is, is getting ready to happen. And, and, and about how, how, how tough it's going to be, not just for them, but for their families as well. But shout out to her, you know, praying for her and her family and, and all of those yeah. who have gone through this, man, because it's a lot, man. So question, is there a comparison or a compare contrast between um, Diddy being caught on camera, right, and Chris Brown not having a camera catch him do what he did? You're right? saying... Is it just we oh, hear about it Rihanna? and we dismiss it or do we see it and we can't let it go? Well, this is this is the problem because, I mean, you didn't need a video for Chris Brown. I mean, her face was the video. Right. You know what I mean? Like, there, mm-hmm. there should have been should have been no way he could have wriggled out of that. So it makes me worry that we're saying he's done. Mm-hmm. But we got a lot of examples of people with the same footage that are still out here doing what they do. Yeah. Right. Enough influence, enough money. Because the world is corrupt. I mean, they don't yes. use... They're not going to use Christian standards or biblical standards when they're looking at these people. Right. Like, where's Trump? You got enough influence, enough money. You can make certain things disappear. Now, in the eyes of the public, after seeing certain stuff, they're going to put you in a certain category. Mm-hmm. But like we said last week with Drake or whoever else, if you can make them dance and make them feel good and come out with a heartfelt apology and say this, this, and that, you know, some people will forget about it, and you'll still be able to maintain somewhat of a living. It's sad, but it's true. Well, that's what that was. That was my whole point of the believers. So, as believers, do we just continue to follow and, and can support this stuff? Because when no. you go to these concerts and all these events, mm-hmm. I wonder how many Christian believers who are gonna right. be at church on Sunday as at all these events too, as well, right. knowing that these artists and these everybody is doing these mm-hmm. corrupt things. Mm-hmm. I mean, absolutely, mm-hmm. forgive them, yeah. but do we continue to put our dollars behind them and support them? No, nah, we shouldn't. That's I'm the, just asking the question. Yeah. That's the biggest argument yeah. that I have with my believing friends when we talk about the mainstream media, and I try to get them to see what we're doing in Christian hip hop and what we're doing in Christian R and B and in gospel. And their whole thing is, I'm still going to support them because I like them because they're popular because they're this that and the other. But you never. It seems like we never get to win the argument. But they're despicable people. So why why are you going to continue to support that? And I lose that argument. Every time I talk to one of my believing friends about somebody in the mainstream that's doing awful things and they call themselves believers, like, I just don't understand how we continue to support that. People will excuse anything that they love. If it's something that they feel is cool, that's mm-hmm. popular, somebody yeah. who they love, their favorite artist, their favorite actor, they'll find a way to excuse the behavior and say, well, y'all Christians, y'all shouldn't be judging, y'all should be this. Everybody gets forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Everybody has grace, but there's still consequences for your actions. If I go out here and rob a bank, I could be forgiven for that, but guess what? I'm still going to prison. Right. Yeah. It's still a consequence for your actions, so you can't just overlook the dirt and the damage and all the stuff that's being done and say, well, y'all believe it. Y'all can't look at it like that. Yes, we can. This is an inhumane act that somebody did to a young lady. Mm-hmm. He needs mm-hmm. to the, he needs to suffer the consequences for that. And he don't yeah. need to be forgiven to the point where we just forget it ever happened. Nah, mm-hmm. this man is capable of doing stuff like this. Be held accountable for that. Mm-hmm. Right. So when we say done, what what is coming off the table? Is it the, I know the, I mean the, Corporate sponsorships, things like that, corporate dollars, anything like that. Is he losing on those on that side? Already he lost up. He's losing. All, he's losing all that. Yeah, I think when people, the gut reaction to done is this man's going to jail. I think mm. that's the feeling I get. Is like mm-hmm. any kind of wiggle room he had. He just put out that TD Jakes, you know, like I'm I'm gonna rise above type video a second ago. You could you could take that down. It's right. not gonna work. He is going to jail at some point, and if he doesn't, then this this world is <laughs> we're yeah. we're we about, gone. Did TD? Do you think TD knew about all this stuff? Like, do you think he thought it was just allegations? Do you think he really knew like the level that this man was really working at? We have to talk about this, man. <laughs> How do we <laughs> confess that to his pastor? I, I'm gonna say I do because I'm gonna talk about it on my show. So yeah, uh, I, I do think, think he, he does. Knew? Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. So what? Okay, do. what what is he? I, I, help me understand him then. What, I, I think to a certain extent, maybe, you know, uh, Diddy was getting some type of counsel from T.D. Jakes. Okay. In, in a certain extent, I think that's, that's what the relationship what was. I think. I don't know. You know, I ain't got no inside source, but that makes the most sense to me. Mm-hmm. So I think there has to be some dark secrets he's told T.D. T. Jakes and it's confidential if, if he's getting some type of counsel. So I, I do think that. I right. think that may have been what T.D. Jakes wanted, mm-hmm. but I think Diddy was using him as like a beard. Mm-hmm. Like... I'm I'm going to have this guy around that I'm like you see me praying with him. It's like oh that means Diddy's a good person. Mm-hmm. It's it's covered, and I think it, whether Jake's knew it or not, he was being used. Yeah. He was used as character as a character witness for Diddy. I just hope his daddy he don't know about all this stuff and he just not saying. Let's that just that. pray. And and it, what what it does is it it highlights the fact that a, a lot of us, a lot of us influencers, artists, all the, all of us. 
we want to get close to these people who have all this money and power and we want to kind of glean off some of that that money and power for ourselves or we want access to the right people and we make a lot of compromises we've known about diddy for a long time and it's like a lot of us want to get you know i mean i know for sure we wanted to be on revolt you know we tried to you know get down to the revolt conference and it's like i mean there weren't a lot of talk about him doing stupid stuff back then but yeah. you hear stuff we've heard about mm -hmm. r kelly for a long time mm -hmm. heard about diddy for a long time mm -hmm. what, do we need to re-strategize as a as a body of people to not keep trying to seek out our success from these people in power i feel like that that's like mm -hmm. an unspoken thing that we we all kind of secretly want to get access to these people so we can mm -hmm. kind of validate ourselves and look successful right. do we need to rethink that plan I definitely think so. Uh, we had Lee Bossy up here last uh, a few weeks ago. And she was saying how you know everybody's in the, everybody in the industry is not corrupt. I believe that, but when you look at the vast majority of the things that's going on within the industry, whether you're talking about Hollywood, all these dark secrets coming out, you're talking about music, all this dark stuff coming out, it's safe to say that you know what I'm saying. It's probably not uh, um, a place where a believer or anybody who has good moral character wants to really just be a part of. Um, you see all this stuff. You see. Abuse. You see all kind of crimes. People losing their life. You see sexual crimes. You see all these different things in order to get to a certain place. It's like you're not seeing like it used to be. I believe where people had a certain level of talent, and your talent puts you in a certain place. Now you have to you have to join a world that's really just dark and evil in order to get to a certain place. And you got to be quiet and and not say stuff about stuff that you see and all this kind of stuff. It's like how can you take all that in and see all this stuff and not say nothing just so you can get to a certain place? You got to question your character if you're willing to be a part of something. Yeah, like that. but I think it's always been dark and evil. Yeah. You know, when you talk about even in Hollywood, when you hear people talk about you know the the casting couch and doing these different things, yeah. so it's always been evil. Is to me, it's just more things that have that have been covered up is starting to come to light now. Mm -hmm. And it needs to come to light even more. So you know, you know, even talking about the Me Too movement and everything, all that stuff been going on for all those years, stuff with Bill Cosby and, you know, you know, supposedly with Bill Cosby and things like that. It's been going on for years. Right. So so the church, I think we just need to stand up more. We mm -hmm. have to. We have yeah. to figure out a way to not. We, again, we're we're supposed to be set apart, and we are in this world together. But we still have to figure out a way to be set apart and to be a part of this. But but you know, but from a more of a um, a, a factual standpoint and looking at this because it's, it's all this stuff is fake and it's, it's, it's smoking mirrors and everything because mm -hmm. it looks like this glitz and this glamour and everything but it's not really that man it's, it's, we need to find a way to, to be in it like even if TJ, TJ Pastor Jakes was in it for a wholesome reason yeah. but his allegations going on about his own his own sexuality and different things that's going on as well so I don't know if that's a true uh, indication of what should be mm -hmm. you know with, mm -hmm. with, with, with what he was trying to do so even, uh, even we have to even think about it man we gotta go back and we gotta relook at this thing man for real Mm. People, people questioning TD Jakes in the chat, man. They saying it's not as wholesome as as we're saying it exactly. is. Exactly. Hey, man, exactly. somebody got somebody got to tell you, man. People got money, like you were saying, money and power and things like that. Oh, I got Diddy at my church. Yep. More people coming to my church now because I got celebrities at my church. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And That's then it. the sad reality you have to think about is how far down does that go? Now you got to look at Sarah Jakes Roberts, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you got to look at uh, all these women of the Evolve Conference that are hanging on to this. You know, um, my wife's been to that conference. Uh, I think Jeremiah's wife has been. So it's like when you when you start looking at the the people of influence who are, you know, under influence. What does that look like? Let's let's be honest. Uh -oh. So Loss of uh -oh. Loss of Found said it. Um, uh -oh. we, we talking about uh -oh. mainstream industry. The gospel industry is a mess. Yes, that, it that's is, true. That's true. and it's we were firsthand experiences of uh, experiences of that because um, yes. we did we did an event. You, I, you were there as well, I believe. We were we were at a club, <laughs> and we were with. Um, we were with um, a pastor here in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and we just saw the response, and we saw the attitude, and and it was just awful. It was I don't awful. Know what you talking about? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Make it plain, bro. Make it plain, bro. Um, <laughs> we did an event at Radio One yeah. with um, Bishop Eddie Long. Oh, we yeah. did. Yeah, and you were there. I remember. I don't it remember. It was at a club. That. Okay. It was at a Which club. One? Um, club Kaya. Club Kaya back oh, in the man. day. Club yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been James a minute. That's like, been oh, a minute. Okay. That's been a minute. <laughs> Taking me back. Um, <laughs> That's been a minute. But yeah, but Club but it Kaya. was uh it was one of um Corey Condry, Coco Brothers uh stand events. Okay. And he did it at the club. I remember I remember he did one at I thought it was one twelve. No, it was Kaya. it was Kaya. 
It was okay. Kaya. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we saw stuff and we heard stuff and we was like, oh, okay, this is this is how we're getting down. <sighs> we <sighs> But now here's the thing though. The gospel we know has been an issue um for a very long time. I don't know if I brush that under the rug, but I'm very selective of what I listen to or people mm-hmm. in the gospel that I choose to like. All right, here, here allow. it is. Here it is. Here so I, we we've been in a lot of green rooms of a lot of famous people in the gospel industry and outside the gospel industry. Yeah, yeah. it's not that different. It ain't. It's not different at all. Really, it's not that different. It's not. For what I see, <clears throat> it ain't different at all. <laughs> Don't talk about the business structure. The business structure ain't different either. Nah. Cutthroats in the gospel. Yeah. It's, I mean, I've seen <laughs> some stuff. with Jesus. Yeah. Yes. There, there are, uh, and, and this is probably a topic we need to do separately. There are a lot of professional Christians mm. where they're a Christian um, for business purposes, not because it's actually their life. And they may have started out with good intentions, mm. maybe, you know, mm. we'll give them that. But at some point when it becomes a business, and that's why I'm, I'm grateful, you know, we, we sometimes lament about, man, this is, we want to be doing this full time and this and that. But I think it's a blessing because once this becomes your actual job, job where you, it, de- we depend on you for our livelihood, yeah, yeah. things change. There's been times where I've been full time in this. There's been times you've been full time in this. Mm. And all of a sudden that stuff you would do for free some, or that stuff you would do out of the goodness of your heart becomes, hey, man, I need to get paid. How much how much you paying me? Mm. And then just motivation start to change. And there's a mm. lot of people who've been in this a really long time and they it does not appear that they're doing this for the Lord anymore. Amen. Yeah. yeah. The motives can definitely be tainted. I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying TD, I'm not trying to accuse. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got celebrities <laughs> coming to your church. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, what you're saying? Hey, what you're saying? What you're saying? What you saying? Ties and offers start looking good. You got millionaires on the front row. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to do what you got to do to appease certain people to keep them in the door. You know, we're coming off a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. You try to get that bag. It's, you know it's, it's a scary. Yeah. Just pray pray for, if, if there's anybody you watch online or you mm-hmm. go to their church, pray for them because the yeah. temptation is real. Yeah. When the money starts coming in or mm-hmm. starts leaving, yeah, mm-hmm. things change. I've seen I've seen pastors that you would think are the best people in the world. When, mm-hmm. when money starts to get tight, their whole behavior changes. Mm-hmm. The motivation of the church changes. It starts to become a business instead of like ministry. Mm-hmm. And it, it, could, it could corrupt a lot of people. So keep praying. Keep praying. That's um, all we can do. Diddy is Diddy. We're, we're talking about Diddy like we're talking about the world. There's a lot of Diddy's in the gospel industry. Oh, There's a lot man. of Diddy's in the church. Mm-hmm. That's terrifying. I've, I've, I've looked at them in the eye face to face and you can yeah. see this ain't yeah. about Jesus at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is not about Jesus. They yeah. know exactly what to say to you to get you to believe it's about Jesus. Mm-hmm. But yeah. they are acting. They are mm-hmm. performing because they know if they say this, you're going to give them money. Mm-hmm. They I say a, this, you're going to give them ties. I have a question about that, though. Why don't we call these people out? We have. We have. I think. I we, mean, I mean, on a, on a large, I mean, a larger scale, because we, I mean, there's been allegations about this person, that person, you know, all these different things. And again, it goes back, like you said, even the wives, you mm-hmm. know, and covering, covering some things up when it yeah. comes down to it. But if we're talking about change and we're talking about, you know, figuring out a way to come together as a church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why don't a wide scale? Why don't we call these folks out? I think I think the big issue. I think the big issue is when you call them out, people turn a deaf ear. And when you when you're turning a deaf ear, you're saying, OK, well, the Lord is going to work on them or we're going to continue to pray for them. Right. It's different. It's different in um, the Christian realm versus the mainstream because they can use God. To say, okay, he's working on me. I'm, yeah. I'm getting this clean. Grace, I'm cleaning this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People use that. But as But in the a mainstream, tool. it's just like, nah, you, you, you're done. You made this mistake, and it's a, it's a wrap. But in the gospel realm, they just want to give you more time. Let's give them more time. Give them more, give them more. You know, grace. Mm-hmm. Well, I pray for the pastors. The, the, the pastors, if you're talking about pastors doing that, that they have some type of covering, and their covering yeah. should be sitting them down. Mm-hmm. Let's be very clear. Like, yeah. you no, know, you know, you can do things one or two times, and if you haven't corrected that issue, mm-hmm. okay, it might be a season for you to sit down now. Mm-hmm. Maybe go get therapy. Maybe go get some more training. Whatever it may be, they right. can't sit down. They need the money, man. Well, so that so just say that then Because mm-hmm. now it ain't yeah. about God To your yeah. point, yeah. it ain't yeah. about God If you can't tell me these are shepherds over a flock mm-hmm. And they're out of order to the point To where yeah. they're doing corrupt stuff Like what you talking about yeah. And you looking them in the <clears> eye And you can see that spirit mm-hmm. that's on yeah. them yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm calling it out Yeah, But a lot of the, a lot of those big pastors though they After a while they don't have a covering anymore 
yeah. because they think they're big and they're too big to have a covering, and that's part of the problem. Yeah, so problem. some of them need to go on sabbatical. Some of them need to take yes. time off. Yeah, all those different things. But if they feel like they're big enough to not need anybody over them, mm-hmm. then first of all, it's out of order. Because that's yeah. you know, the Bible says they got a gang, gang of folks eating off of them order. too. So yeah. who gonna tell them they're wrong when everybody eating off of them? Yeah. yeah. So you know we got we so got Mark. There's no accountability then. We got Mark exactly. Arthur C. Phillips with a super chat. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Does this situation also raise the question that we need to do a better job in teaching our young people? about red flags in a potential partner. So I guess this is going back to Cassie and Diddy. Um, mm. I don't know, man. Like, I think I think when you're dealing with the industry, it's a little different. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. But with the industry, there's so much power dynamics going on where I don't know how she met Diddy, but mm. for a lot of people, this is like, this is an opportunity. Male, female, doesn't matter what the dynamics are. It's like Diddy has so much power because of his image that that power imbalance, once somebody takes advantage of that, yeah. it's hard for that person to even know yeah. what's happening to them. It's yeah. it's so powerful. That's why that's why God puts so much onus on the person of power that like he almost threatens them. Like mm-hmm. if if you have this power, you if you have sheep underneath you that 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 look up to you as this whatever it is, mm-hmm. and you abuse that. I'm going to destroy you. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's basically the message. And and people who take advantage of their power is is one of the worst things you could do on earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got somebody like that who might have been a singer, entertainer. She's just saying, "Hey, I met Diddy, bad boy Diddy, Biggie Diddy. Okay, he said he can do this and do that to my career, this and that. Yeah. You going all wide eyed, bushy tail, innocent, thinking he gonna do this for your career, not realizing that this is who this man is behind the scenes." And now, like you said, he's so powerful. He's just this this big figure. If you come out and try to say did it, this, he could say, "Well, she just mad because I didn't want to take a career to the next level." It's so many things that can be said without having evidence and things to support it or to prove it. So now, with this footage coming out, this pretty much just shows like oh, that's why everybody's saying he's done because it's the allegation, things yes. being said. But you got money, you got enough stuff, you got private plan, you can wiggle a lot of stuff, you know. So, but now you can't wiggle out of that. Yeah. We see this, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. gonna be a, it'll be consequences. The re- then the relationships go outside of the the person, like the female or the male. For instance, Usher. Mm-hmm. Usher was with Diddy when he was 13 yeah. years mm-hmm. old, yeah. living in New York with him. And Usher, he's come out and say, "Look, all these different things that I've seen yeah. at a young age, I shouldn't have saw these different yeah. things." Justin yeah, Bieber, yeah. Too. Justin Bieber as well, yeah. right? So why? So so why, what what I mean by that is. Outside of that, what happened to the parents? Yeah, R. Kelly with all the girls that was going on with R. Kelly. Parents, what happened to the parents? parents what are the parents doing? They want the same. They want to the yeah. 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 get right to the bag as well, right? Yeah. And so it goes outside of just that, that, just that single person. Why Usher and Bieber to tell what the stuff was behind the scenes that they saw? Right, absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so it, right. It's it. I mean, this is this is the thing where everybody gets this verse wrong. They think um, money is the root of all evil. It's no, the it's love, love of money. Mm-hmm. Right. It's the desire for money. It's that that thirst for money that lets you ignore all these things that. Are going on. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a poll. Crispy put up a poll. Said, "Do you think Diddy is done?" Forty three percent said yes. He'll never be back in public. Forty four percent said he's done for now until time passes. Seven mm. um, percent said he'll buy his way out, and six percent said no, he's not done. So it's it's a That's mix. The second one is scary. Time passes. Yeah. People forget. Yeah. This is yeah. a big deal right now, but. There's a lot of people, stuff went on, like Chris Brown, like stuff went on, yeah. and uh, all of a sudden you see him again. Just I don't understand the Chris Brown stuff. Like, that just throws my mind. 